uh, Chico, uh, a game that I'm sure you wish you could just forget about that didn't happen. It did happen. Just what did not go right uh, over there? No, we did, did start the game very well. Uh, Chico, to their credit, was prepared and, and hit big shots uh, early, got us down. Uh, their crowd was definitely a factor. That environment there at Chico State, they're doing a nice job uh, with their game management and their crowd. And, and uh, it was loud and it was a, a tough place to play. And with losing momentum early in the game, uh, certainly didn't help us um, recover, which we never did. Uh, we got our butts kicked bad. Um, it was a tough night and uh, something that uh, on the ride home on 299, uh, water under the bridge like Trinity River you know it's just, we need to wash that away and, and refocus for this weekend's contest down in Los Angeles was there anything that you said to the guys either after the game or even the start of this week to kind of I don't know how much you know you want to talk with them about Chico but anything that you said to kind of keep keep the heads up moving forward to this uh, you know this weekend yeah it was uh, you know, we, we do kind of a ground up speech as far as uh, discipline we need to be on time to every event, whether it's a breakfast or a, a shoot around or, or a van ride, and, and just have a lot of discipline starting in the classroom and, and make sure that this week starts off correctly. And uh, our approach needs to be a little more diligent, a little more militant, and uh, I think we've already started that on our ride home from Chico. And, and I think the guys responded well to that, and I think that we'll get back performing well uh, like we were, you know, it was just a less than a week ago. We were playing well. The, the Cal Poly game, we obviously took them to the wire. Could have, should have won that game, and, and, uh, and that was just a week ago. So we're, we just need to make sure we get back on the right track. Make sure we're playing well, uh, and that's just with the practice board. Yeah. How do you guys? Are, 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 how do you think? I mean, you kind of talked about it, but how do you think? You know, you guys will respond after a game like uh, Saturday. I think we'll respond well. I think. I think. Uh, giving them the day off yesterday, letting them uh, get back to, into the classroom, rest, stay away from each other uh, for 24 hours and get revived. Uh, I think I think uh, today's practice will show that. And I think that when we get in those vans and we travel south uh, to Los Angeles, I think that um, we'll, be, we'll be excited about being with each other again as a group and, and as a team will come together and compete well. There's two teams we beat. Already for Cal State Dominguez Hills and Cal State Los Angeles. I, I like our chances down there. We need to play well. Uh, we have those two games ahead of us. We have Monterey Bay and we have uh, Cal State East Bay coming in uh, the week after. So there's four games in a row that are uh, winnable. They're, they're games that uh, we're confident in, in our approach and uh, certainly can turn things around in our standings. And um, after those four games, we'll look up and see where, uh, where we are as far as the conference tournament. We have nine games left, that's a lot of basketball. Um, and so we just need to play one game at a time and that starts this weekend down in Los Angeles. Um, is there anything you and the coaches got together at all and just maybe scratch the head and say, what can we do differently or what, you know, is there anything or is it just, hey, you got beat by a, a good team that couldn't do wrong and just kind of keep on going? And we need to make baskets. We, we, uh, we missed open shots from layup level to mid-range, to three-pointers that were wide open. Uh, we took poor shots, and we need to eliminate that as far as our discipline and, and taking shots and our execution on our offense. Uh, but at the same time, we can't be uh, can't be afraid to, to make a layup and make a 15-footer and knock down a three-pointer when it presents itself in a, in a game-winning fashion. Uh, a good basketball shot, we need to be able to knock it down. So we'll. We'll practice execution a lot this week. Um, obviously, get a lot of shots that get their confidence back. You know, the coaching is coaching, but how much on the seniors to rely on for, for that leadership? Are there guys right now, seniors that you see that are kind of leading the way and kind of taking other players? Yeah, I, I just like our seniors across the board. You know, the two longtime guys in our program, Will Taylor and Colin Caslick, they provide a lot of. Uh, you know, traditional leadership in our locker room, and you can count on those guys. Uh, Devossier is an amazing human being. He's just a great athlete, a great person, a great student. We're just lucky to have him. And then our local product, also with Ashton Palmer, has just been a nice injection of, of uh, winning attitude and, and a great kid every day. You want to see Ashton, and he provides a lot of uh, positivity in our locker room for us. Um, just 
just talk about uh, uh, Los Angeles on uh, on Friday, a team that uh, you, you faced before. What, what, what can you tell me about them? Right out there. Very athletic. They're long. Uh, they get their coached extremely well. Their coach is a tactician during the game. He does a nice job on adjustments, and he likes playing chess out there and, and uh, changing defenses and, and and creating matchup problems with substitutions. So we really have to be on our game as coaches and counter those moves. Um, at the same time, players got to play, and uh, it's our job to prepare them. All right, coach. Thanks. And again, I apologize.